Good morning. We're going to cook beef and bean burritos today. As ingredients, you'll need some extra virgin olive oil, beans of any type you like, be it Mexican beans, any beans, even peas is fine. You can use ordinary cooking oil for that, salt, pepper, onions, tomatoes, about one kilogram of any red meat, capsicums, beef soup cubes and later on to serve the burritos you need ready-made burritos along with sour cream of any type. Add the onion and garlic and heat and keep stirring until the onion is browned and the garlic has cooked along with the onions. You can use ordinary garlic which is grated into tiny pieces or you can also use garlic paste at this stage. Once the onion looks browned at this stage you can add the mince and it should be broken with a fork in order to separate all the pieces and at this stage stir in the mince into the onion. Once you stir the beef into the onions or the lamb into the onions or the veal into the onions whichever meat you want to use or even combinations of any it should look something like this that's onions mixed with the meat and the garlic and they should all be cooked until the meat is browned at least it might take three to five more minutes at this stage after that then you add in the cumin's paprika chili powder I personally don't like chili powder so I just add cumin's paprika and cook stirring for another minute until aromatic. As you can see there are cumin seeds just sprinkled on this mixture and now I'm going to add some paprika to it and it's optional you can also add chili powders at this stage if you wish to make it more spicier. The next step is adding in tomato paste and as you can see the meat appears rather browned at the moment and I've got all the tomatoes which you can either boil or you need not boil. You can chop one kilogram of tomatoes into a one litre dish and the whole thing is going to be added in. And now we boil this mixture full of tomatoes, mince, onions, paprika, cumin. You can even add salt and pepper at this stage. The time depends time of boiling depends how much you want it to taste. I personally like to go on a boil for sometimes 30 minutes, 20 minutes so I'll switch off the recording at this stage and do the boiling and after the boiling process is done the tomatoes neatly blend in with the mince. Couple of important pointers at this stage is that uh, to prevent the meat from clumping you might need to use a fork sometimes to break up the pieces the other thing is the 30 minutes for boiling the meat in the tomatoes depends upon your taste if you like very rare meat you can use only 10 minutes if you're in a hurry 15 minutes but because I cook once a week I tend to use it for 30 minutes you may also choose to use cubes of soup at this stage soup cubes these are uh, beef soup cubes which I use and I do note that this is uh, whale and mutton which I'm using as mince but it doesn't really matter it just adds more taste to it salt and pepper you can add as much as you like at this stage owing to large volume of the mince and tomatoes I've actually divided it into two equal pieces and now they're being heated in two places simultaneously as we speak now is the time to add in the beans and to add in the capsicums you can use any type of capsicum, be it the um, colored orange yellow capsicums. I'm a bit colorblind, so I can't tell the difference. It looks a bit orange yellow to me, or the ordinary run of the mill red capsicums. About three capsicums will do, even two you may use depending on the spice level you want to eat. So I'm going to add in some capsicums. And then the beans very critical ingredient for burritos 
any types of beans mixture you could add that goes in at this point also be aware to check out the uh, conservative preservative fluid and bring this entire mixture to boil again if you are short of time after 10 minutes of initially browning the mince with the tomatoes that's when you can add in the full mixture or even 30 minutes after boiling the mince with the tomatoes you can add in the capsicum and beans depends about your time level of how much free time you have for cooking this is 15 minutes into boiling the meat mince mixture along with the tomatoes capsicums and you can see how well it's being boiled this is to really cook the meat and make it taste very soft and wonderful along with the tomatoes this process can be continued for a further 20 minutes until all the meat is well cooked through and then you can serve it along with the tortillas along with sour cream with a sprinkle of coriander leaves onto it as you can see the mince and the tomato mixture is being boiled and the meat is going to be very tender an option at this stage is to add in mushrooms these are ordinary swiss brown mushrooms the swiss brown mushrooms can also be added in at this stage really there is no fixed rules as to how much quantity you can add um, half a kilogram a quarter kilogram whatever your preference is any type of mushrooms will do even shiitake mushrooms will do even white mushrooms will do and even the whole idea of mushrooms is completely optional it just depends on your taste but remember this is actually a paleo recipe in an ideal world I actually do not eat tortillas at all because it's carbohydrate it's non paleo so to make it more paleo add in more fat more proteins and almost zero carbohydrates this is a very clean paleo recipe you won't gain weight with this ah bon appetit all of you know my sec favorite second language is French and you can have the look at the finished product this finished product does not have um, coriander leaves sprinkled on it and you can add coriander leaves if you please I'll get a close-up view and in the close-up view you can see mushrooms you can see the capsicum you can see the beans you can see the meat you can see the tomatoes in which it has been cooked you can add corn starch if you need to thicken up the syrup but generally I like to just use it the tortillas along with the meat and the capsicum and the onions and the mushrooms and the beans all together in the tortilla and the syrup I just drink it later on because it's full of tomato juice actual raw tomatoes which is full of vitamin C and which is also full of antioxidants and very very healthy for the body because it's a paleo recipe I actually do not ever use tortillas because it's carbohydrate stuff and therefore I just use um, just eat it raw just the way it is this is exactly typically what I take for lunch to the workplace Some, a dish just like this a portion just like this and to build all the muscles in my body which I do from the boxing and the fencing in the gym I need all these proteins and these are the best proteins to do mushrooms are full of proteins and the meat obviously is full of proteins and there's not a trace of carbohydrate in this meal which is why it qualifies as a paleo diet helps you to lose weight because the body then burns up the fat in the body to produce energy by ketosis at the same time you also build muscles so all in all it's healthy eating if you like this video like the video on YouTube and if you want to cook this feel free to cook it as you can see I've given you various options for the ingredients and various timings and you can cook it whichever way you like Bon Appetit